One of my favorite ways to describe tapping is to give the example of if someone were to come up to you and they were to put their hand on your shoulder and you were to startle and they got your attention, what it's doing is it's bringing you back into the present moment. And so how I describe tapping to people is when we tap on these different meridian points, what it's doing is it's bringing us back into the now and into the present moment because the present moment is the only time that we can make a change. It's the only place from which we can change because the past is over and the future has not yet happened. And so by using tapping, a very simple thing that anybody can do, I have taught children, a monkey could do it. So that means you could do it too. And it's the kind of thing where you get to take your power back into your own hands. You can tap right here in any situation, no one's going to notice. You can tap right here on this part of your hand. There's so many different ways to use tapping. You can tap on the top of your head. You might not want to do that one in public. I do. <laughs> but find what feels comfortable for you. Some people really respond well to going through all the different points and tapping on them. Or you can find the points that really are soothing and work well for you. And what I encourage all of my clients to do is to use this in the moment. So when you feel stressed out, when something happens, I want you to stop action and start tapping, even if that means right here just saying this feeling, whatever it is, it's okay, I can let it go. It's safe to calm down now. And to notice, because if you have a big reaction to that, you're going to want to do some more tapping. But typically what happens is that is enough to remind us to send a new message to our brain to fire differently that, oh, we want to calm down, we want to relax, it is safe. So do practice your tapping because in the moment is really when it's going to be amazing to have this as a skill that you automatically go to. So the more that you tap intentionally during your day and sit down and actually tap on things that are specifically bothering you, the easier it's going to be to remember to tap when you're in the moment, in the heat of a trigger, and to have a very quick response. Because when we are aimed at our emotion, when we are in that, that is when the tapping actually releases really quickly and you're going to notice a huge change. All right, Diana Cottle from thecottlecode.com.